Hey, what is up, everybody? This is Steve Breach coming to you here today. I don't want to start out my normal, um, you know, Raw preview. The same rant that I give almost every time that uh, WWE Monday Night Raw is, is taped live in, uh, in, in the UK over there tonight. I believe they're going to be in Manchester. Um, it is what it is. Um, it, we're going to find out basically everything that goes down on Monday Night Raw just by looking at uh, your social media accounts. Um, I, I remember two years ago, um, no, it was last year. Last year when they were over there building up for Survivor Series, they brought back Ryback, uh, who made his return on the show, and then basically the Authority offered him a spot on their team as well as uh, uh, Team Cena offered him a spot on, on their team, and uh, Ryback, you know... Um, hit the shell shock on Cena, basically joining the authority. Uh, and then from there, um, they, they spun the whole thing by the end of the show, he quit. But, it, you know, WWE was even on their social media accounts showing um, Ryback holding uh, Cena up for the uh, the shell shock, basically saying that, um, you know, look what happens on Monday Night Raw, giving you away the, the big surprise that's going to be going down. Tonight's Monday Night Raw, honestly, in my mind, is going to be a little bit of a throwaway show for the reason that they're they're building up to this tournament, and I believe that the tournament's going to be eight people, um, and I don't know if they're just going to do a reveal uh, where uh, Triple H and Stephanie come out at the beginning of the show and they just read a list of eight names, or if people are going to have to compete in order to um, advance into the tournament. If they do uh, have to compete and you're looking for eight matches. Um, for eight people to win in order to get into the tournament. Honestly, in my mind, I think that it's going to be a very weak Monday Night Raw, seeing how weak um, the roster is at this time. Basically, you're going to have guys um, facing Kalisto, facing Sin Cara, facing Epico and Primo, um, you know, it, it, I just honestly don't believe that that's the way they should do it. I, I think they should put on good matches throughout the show and um, just basically say what's going to go down. If I honestly can tell you, um, I honestly think that uh, the authority is try going to try and throw a wrench into the plans of possibly Roman Reigns. It's just what they've always done. Uh, basically trying to keep guys like Stone Cold Steve Austin out of the Royal Rumble. Uh, trying to keep Daniel Bryan out of the main event of WrestleMania 30. Making it where the main event is basically where Roman Reigns has to compete in a match. Whether he has to beat two or three guys. And uh, to be able to climb into the... Uh, the tournament at Survivor Series that most people think that he is going to win. It's a very fun and it's a very entertaining time because honestly, WWE has a blank canvas and they can honestly do anything in the world as of right now. Um, to, to, to switch things up and try and make Monday Night Raw a little bit more enjoyable. Um, other storylines that are going to be going down, honestly, is Bray Wyatt and uh, the, the Wyatt brothers or Wyatt clan, Wyatt, uh, whatever the hell you want to call them. Uh, they're going to be... Um, summonsing Undertaker and Kane, I guess is the best way to say it. Last week we saw them shooting, uh, you know, lightning out of the sky, attacking the entrance ramp. Why the uh, arena didn't burn down uh, from the uh, pyrotechnics, I have no idea. Um, but uh, everyone's seen the ad that WWE's put out, basically saying that Undertaker returns in Manchester. Um, so I don't know what kind of a hint we're going to get uh, for that tonight. I'm guessing that it's going to happen on SmackDown. Uh, I think that Raw was already sold out. So they decided to have the Undertaker return on SmackDown for the reason of trying to sell out another show. Um, so I don't really know what goes down with that. Other things that are uh, being built up are the Usos um, and their big return that they had last week. Um, the Usos versus the New Day. Um, then you also have... Uh, Tyler Breeze um, and his feud against Dolph Ziggler, which is a little bit surprising for the fact of um, Dolph Ziggler is one of the guys that I thought would be in the World Heavyweight Championship Tournament. I thought that they would do the easy reveal of Tyler Breeze coming out and making sure that he did not advance, possibly costing him round number one and um, build the feud from there. But it looks like if they are going to go with uh, Tyler Breeze versus Dolph Ziggler at Survivor Series, you're already losing one of the strength, um, uh, strong people that's been a world heavyweight champion uh, for this company. And, um, those are the guys that honestly should be going in because they're believable uh, to the fact that you think that they actually could win uh, the tournament at Survivor Series. Uh, Paige versus Charlotte, it's going to be what it's going to be. I don't really know what the buildup of this feud is going to be. Um, I'm just hoping that the match is really good at Survivor Series. So we'll see what goes down tonight. And we'll actually, we'll read what goes down tonight when I go to lunch today.